Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 9th through the 15th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's definitely a lot of positive energy coming through here for you, Aquarius. I feel like this is going to be such a great week. Um, kind of seems like you're going to be very happy, very satisfied with the way that things go. Um, just overall, I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to even maybe have some self-care or do something for you. Um, kind of seems like that might just be a requirement for this week for you to do something for yourself. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Sun, which is Leo, and then the Star, which is you. So I kind of feel like your energy is coming through here with a lot of optimism, a lot of hope. Um, feels like things with work are going to go well, or at least you're going to have this sense of teamwork. I feel like you're going to be very supported this week through something. Um, even with this Four of Cups, I feel like maybe right now you could be overthinking or concerned about how something is going to happen. But I feel like the universe wants to reassure you that the outcome is going to be better than what you anticipate. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the star. We have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. I wonder if there was something that happened recently between you and a person that left you feeling heartbroken. Um, I kind of feel like this week there's some sort of opportunity to maybe make amends. We have the Empress and behind her is the Ace of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like someone is either giving you the opportunity or you are going to be, um, I guess you're going to see some sort of chance here to maybe have a moment of reconciliation or I don't know it, it either seems like someone is supporting you through the process of healing or you yourself are going to feel healed enough to kind of take the next step with a person or within a situation kind of like you're saying this week that this situation isn't stopping you anymore from going forward or doing something because we have the knight of wands the three of swords and then the four of swords so it's kind of like there's this energy of i took the time that i needed i'm i feel recharged i feel recovered i feel healed i'm ready to go ahead and take this chance that i couldn't take while i was still recovering or healing from this so it just kind of seems like you're saying here i'm ready like i'm ready to do this i'm ready to take this chance i'm ready to go for this that pain that feeling of devastation or heartbreak it isn't stopping me anymore i'm stronger than that all right let's go ahead and clarify the three of pentacles and we have the high priestess which is pisces i feel like you're going with your gut here when it comes to a work related situation i feel like your gut feeling is saying let's let me trust this let me um you know, have good expectations for that. I feel like there's someone that you're trusting in general um, right now that maybe is very important to you moving forward through some sort of situation. I feel like this person is not going to let you down, but I also sense a little bit of hesitation. Um, we have the Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Hermit, which is Virgo. So right now with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like maybe part of you is hesitant to share something with someone, whether it is sharing maybe responsibility or sharing some sort of task or sharing maybe an investment of some sort. But I feel like your intuition is saying, what's the worst that can happen? I feel like with the Seven of Wands, uh, maybe it's been difficult to just trust in general because of something that happened in the past, but I feel like the universe wants you to overcome that, right? Because it's not good to not trust anyone either. Um, I feel like that's something that we all kind of struggle with sometimes after we've been through some sort of betrayal, but I feel like the universe is saying here with the hermit, let's, you know, just kind of look within and really ask ourselves, do we have a reason to not trust this person? Do we have a reason to believe that these are not people that we can share this with like you know let's i guess check if this is a projection a fear or reality right so i feel like that's going to be where your intuition comes in and i feel like that feeling is going to be what allows you to then kind of move forward let's clarify the sun two of swords so i feel like with the two of swords you could be kind of stuck here between two good choices or two good options 
um, I feel like is going to be bittersweet in that you are having to make a decision this week about both or two things that you enjoy or two things that you love. So it may seem frustrating in the moment, but I feel like no matter what the outcome, you're going to be very happy with it. We have the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Fool. I feel like with the Fool, you could be taking a leap of faith this week. Maybe with that Knight of Cups, it is towards a person, um, towards some sort of commitment. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, there could be this energy of not wanting to make the wrong decision. Um, or maybe there's a fear of, you know, being rejected or a fear of something not working out the way that you expect. Let's see, let's go ahead and actually clarify this Ten of Swords really quick. Four of Wands. Yeah, so, all right, so Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck kind of feels like whatever it is that's making you happy right now, Aquarius, it feels like it has the same ability to not make you happy, which I think can be said about just about anything right like if something has so much power that makes us happy that also has the same amount of power to not anyway um before i confuse everyone i feel like the universe is saying let's not let that fear stop us from going through with it and, and enjoying it in the moment right let's not let's let's not let the fear of being devastated heartbroken or betrayed stop us from being in the present and enjoying what we have right now it just kind of feels like there is something very big happening here for you Aquarius like you're making a huge decision that could you know maybe impact the rest of your life so part of you is like man I really want to take this leap of faith I really want to go with my gut with my heart but I don't want to make the wrong decision because then I'm going to have to live with that forever Right? It's like we're putting a lot of pressure on ourselves to make the right choice. We have the world, the two of swords, and the ten of wands. So definitely feels like it's it's heavy, right? It's like you're carrying all of this, um, all of these thoughts, all of this pressure to make the right decision. That two of swords is like, you know, being at a crossroads, not knowing exactly maybe what the right decision is. But for the most part, it just seems like no matter what, you're going to see some changes. There's going to be a huge change transformation in your life and a new cycle is emerging and it's all very exciting i feel like with that four of wands you're happy in general that you are in this position but part of you is like man i just don't want to make um the wrong choice let's clarify the four of cups five of pentacles yeah there's definitely some overthinking related to this because of the fear of being left behind losing it right to me, this is self-sabotage, right? It's like this energy of letting ourselves think that something is going to go bad um, is self-sabotage. I feel like the universe wants you to kind of fight that this week because it seems like um, that's like the main obstacle in the way. We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Strength, which is Leo. So I feel like the universe is saying, don't let this overthinking make you feel weaker or make you feel like you're not strong enough or like you're not, you know, going to be okay being vulnerable in this space, sharing this with this person. I feel like the Six of Cups is alluding to a very strong emotional connection, a strong bond. Um, I feel like that Four of Wands coming through again is just confirmation that this is going to work out better than you think, right? We have to have faith in the outcome and not fear the process. But I think that for the most part, I just feel like you have so much invested in this, not just physically or financially, but emotionally, that part of you is very scared at the idea of losing it. But I feel like right now the universe is saying that's the only problem, right, is our perspective right now, is this power that we are giving to the fear. Um, again, for some of you, you know, maybe it's more fueled from past experiences Again, maybe some of you are still healing from that, but for the most part, I feel like the universe wants you to embrace the present moment, to really just enjoy it, to really just be happy, and to not feel bad about being happy, which sounds crazy, but maybe some of you are just going through this, you know, just a huge transition in general, it seems, in your life where it's like you're learning how to do all of these things again, you're learning how to be vulnerable again, you're learning how to give in to love again, you're learning how to be happy again, right? Some of you have just kind of gotten through a dark night of the soul for that lasted maybe too long. So it's like right now you're just like, man, I just don't want to go through that again. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I just want this to work out. All right, so the universe is saying, Aquarius, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, but just trust this. 
So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.